This is my second proof to case one. If human sees someone in his reality, then he thinks or imagines about someone whom he has seen. That means thinking and imagination is not true for human. Because when human thinks or imagines, he is not in consciousness from mind. And he thinks and imagines without having control in his mind. And you know God and everybody else who exists and does not exist. If a human does not have control in his mind and says something in his reality to other human, then what other human says to that human? A mad person. Because when human does not have control in his mind, he is not in consciousness from mind, in reality of humans. And the same applies in the world of God and in the world of God of genies created by genies. If any human asks you a question, God, are you better than humans? Then what you will reply? Because a human who does not have consciousness in mind and says something in front of other humans, in reality of humans, then he is known as mad to humans. By not having consciousness, I mean not having control in mind. And to you, why that human is not known as mad?